Uh, hey guys, um, I'm making this video to help people in the first steps in live online. Uh, even though there is uh, a tutorial in the game, a very good tutorial, uh, I personally don't like them. And uh, since I know there are other people that don't read them, I'm making this video to help them out. Uh, anyway, if you need, if you won't read it, it will help, I'm not gonna harm you. I'm gonna close it right now since I don't need it. Uh, okay. First, uh, let's have a look at uh, the game's interface. Uh, at the right uh, corner, left the top corner, we have uh, the overview, where you can see things of interest that are near you. Like uh, I'm an asteroid belt right now, so there are many asteroids. You can also see other ships. Here is another ship. Uh, this is where you see uh, an item you have selected. I'm gonna select uh, an asteroid right here and I'm gonna be able to see it here uh, okay uh, here we have uh, some uh, fe uh, features you will need this is the wallet basically your money we have assets, we have your map, uh, we have market, your fitting room a mail and well, other things as well you're gonna need later on okay this is the chat obviously there is a, a help chat as well the where you can uh, ask for help uh, from other people, in even GMs. Um, it's very helpful. Okay, uh, this uh, down here is uh, to be able to manipulate your ship. Uh, these three layers here, it's sh uh, shield, armor and, s and hull, uh, are for your ship's health. If you lose all three of them, your ship is gonna be destroyed and you're gonna go out in space with your pod. This is your capacitor status. If you lose all your capacitor, all your systems will shut down. You won't be able to do anything until it uh, recharges a little. So you should be careful about that in later later on. This is uh, your slots for your guns or for your miners or anything. With this you can mine obviously and with this shoot other people or NPCs. Uh, this is uh, for your speed. Anywhere you click here, it will automatically uh, set your your s top speed in that uh, in that, yeah, or you want you can choose at full speed. And this is your cargo, and uh, this is uh, the uh, the autopilot. Gonna learn later what that can do, and some other functions you can look by yourself later on. Okay, how to move uh, around you with your ship. Uh, double click double uh, left click anywhere you want and your ship is going to fly to that direction at the desired speed you have chosen uh, if you want to go to something that's uh, in near you and you see it in the overview you can just click it and you can choose from up here approach and it will approach it or you can orbit around it or keep at range or you can lock it uh, lock is a very nice functionality uh, because uh, uh, you can be you can keep track of that item easily. You can also attack others uh, when you they are locked. Anyway, I'm just not gonna unlock a target. You can also look at that uh, uh, item you have chosen, if you want, or show his information. Anyway, uh, this is how you uh, fly around you when uh, in objects around you now if you want to go to somewhere that uh, is way far uh, way far from you and you can just go to that direction uh, let's say I'm gonna uh, warp to a stargate okay you right click in space and you see some options here there is asteroid belts planets stargates stations uh, stations is where you can dock and uh, be safe from attacks or anything and do and it has many other functions you can learn by yourself later on uh, okay I'm gonna go to a stargate stargates are uh, big uh, buildings that help you jump to other regions uh, anyway I'm gonna uh, warp to stargate to IDOT uh, you can choose warp to within zero meters or warp within w whatever kilometers you want. Uh, I'm gonna choose warp with to within zero meters. 
and we're wrapping. Later on, when you find, uh, when you get a mission and uh, you will need to fly to a desired area, uh, you you have to uh, right click on that destination and set and um, and click at set destination, and right over here is gonna show you how many jumps you need to take. And in order to go there, you need to either go by yourself to a stargate with. Uh, right click or, or press autopilot and that will take you to the desired stargates and will jump automatically although that uh, is not a very n a good decision because um, if you choose autopilot it will take your ship uh, 50, 50 kilometers outside the stargate so you basically gonna need to fly to it by yourself and jump and this is rather boring and uh, gonna take you some time I I uh, because uh, later ships uh, have uh, very small speed so it's gonna take much of your time so basically you can uh, uh, go to the desired stargate by yourself rather than choose autopilot anyway now I'm gonna make a jump uh, I'm I clicked on, uh, on, the, on the stargate and in the selected team e item I can see another function e that's called jump I'm gonna press it and my, sh my ship is gonna jump to the next region okay and here we are we changed uh, our region and well, another thing you must be really careful is to watch uh, your security level, uh, the security level of uh, the area. Uh, with 1.0 being the best security level, uh, that means they won't. If someone attack you, they're gonna get conquered. It means they're gonna be shut down by the police quite instantly. This is a uh, uh, conquered. And uh, basically, what you want in your first step is never go to a region that her security level is below 0 0.5 you go for example to 0 0.4 uh, most of the time you're gonna get shut down so now uh, the last thing I wanna show you is how to warp and dock to a station you right click on space you go to stations you choose uh, the station you wish to go and you can again uh, choose warp to within zero meters and then dock uh, remotely by yourself or you can just uh, click to dock this is what you're gonna do and when you warp to the station the heat will automatically uh, dock you inside uh, the station um, well this is what, I've, what I was gonna show you uh, not much but I believe it's gonna be really helpful for some people I know it was for me when I searched for videos uh, about how to move in even my first steps um, I do apologize for my English since uh, it's not my main language uh, if you have any questions uh, that you wish to know let me know and uh, if I can answer them be sure I will um, okay this is the station you have other functions here uh, you can uh, experiment yourself and find out some things I may do another video to explain some other basic things about stations uh, or fighting or mining or whatever so um, thanks for watching the video if you wish subscribe I'm a new user of YouTube so thanks goodbye and fly safe.